Coventry United TV interviews are proudly sponsored by Current. Building bespoke software to increase sales and improve your business process. Visit current.it for more information. Following Coventry United's 2 0 home defeat against Worcester City, we're here with United Manager Terry Anderson. Terry, not the way we're wanting to round off 2018. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, poor. Uh, I thought we were a decent first half. Two big decisions didn't go our way. Um, but we switched off for the first two minutes, let the lad in, and then switched off for the first two minutes of the second half and conceded from the set piece again. It's not good enough on our part. So, very poor. Good with well, both goals stemmed from what really was a lack of concentration from a backline which has been so reliable this season. Was it out, an out of character performance from the defenders? Uh, from the first two minutes, the first goal definitely is, yeah. Um, but it's, it, that can't happen. They've had two shots on target today and they've scored two goals. Uh, that's too many times this season the teams are getting any half chance and they're putting it away. We're having a lot of chances and not putting it away. Um, that's the story of our season at the moment. Um, Last few games have been really poor for us. We haven't scored in the last three at home, and that's, that's disappointing for us as a team, as a manager, and for the lads who pay to come into the year, the fans. Um, it's really poor, because it. Of course, there are positives to take from uh, from the match. Um, possession really was controlled by United, but of course, uh, there needs to be an end product. Times, mate. That's just not good enough. Uh, I know we're a good footballer team, but sometimes you got to you got to play ugly. Um, and if that's the way you can win, play and win, then I'm, I'm game for doing that. Um, we tried to go to a different approach today. We didn't try and play a lot of football at times. I didn't want to do that. Um, but them, them lads in there, they, they do want to play football and stuff. But that's not getting us results at the minute. It's, these fans are not coming here to watch us play good football and lose 1-0 or lose 2-0. I'm not in the game of letting us lose 2-0, but are we playing good football? That's rubbish, mate. That's not good enough. Uh, we've got to start putting wins together and it's down to me and them lads in there really. Of course to put results together you need goals. The feeling from the fans again despite new strikers coming in was the lack of a clear goal scoring threat. I mean how can you remedy that in the, in the new year? What, what can you do to put that right? Uh, training. Um, it's hard. It's hard to put my finger on at the minute. I'm trying to do what I can. Trying to get the lads in that maybe will score goals for us. As I've just said we haven't scored the last three home games and it's really disappointing. Um, I'm not happy, uh, I don't think the lads are happy, I hope they're not happy because I've just had the right go at them in there um, but it's disappointing for the fans in this club, this club's better than where we lie at the moment and the performances we're putting out there and on the pitch, it's, it's just not good enough mate. Well the, the festive pitch is now over, uh, a very tough pitch list uh, I've got to say with lots of Ilkeston, Spinks and of course today Worcester but what's one point out of a possible nine acceptable income from no, those matches? No, no, not in a million years, no. I believe that I put a team out and them lads to, to go out there and take nine points from nine. We don't go out there to one out of nine. That's rubbish. It's, that's really poor. Um, the fixtures, this, took, this league very tough. We've got Warsaw Wood after the Vars, then Shepshed. The two top four teams. We, we've got to put something right. We've got the Vars on Saturday. This this the pinnacle of our season now. Um, we've got to go out there and we've got to win and we've got to score goals and if we play attractive football and win, yeah, that's brilliant. But if we play ugly and win, I don't care, that's what we've got to do. Well, the recent performances, does it dent your confidence heading into such an important match against Leicester Nevada in the FA Vars? Do you believe this team can go out there and, and get the result? I believe in them lads, yeah, I do. At the moment, it's just not clicking for us. Um, but I can't not believe in them. I picked them, I brought them into this club, I put them on that pitch. So to them over the white line, but everything before that, that falls on my toes. Um, I believe we will win, I hope we will win, but I'm not going to go in there and say, oh, we're, we're struggling here, Let, let's, let's just try and do something for Leicester Nevada. No, we'll go at them and we'll try and win and we'll try and score goals, whatever way that means, playing pretty football or ugly, we need to win that game, mate. Well, things haven't been easy between those white lines uh, recently. The departure of key players coincided with some very tough fixtures. How tough has it been for yourself and your coaching team in these circumstances? Losing big players is part and parcel in the league. I'm not going to blame it on now. I'm not going to blame today's performance on the referee pitch, nothing like that. That's non-league. Teams from higher clubs, they come in, they see lads doing well, they take them. That's, it, that's the hard nature of it. Uh, that falls back onto me. It's my job to go and get lads in to replace them. Um, if I'm not doing my job, then that's, it's up to somebody else to make a decision there. But I'm trying what I can with these lads and hopefully we can get the results. On the note of the refereeing performance, uh, do you feel hard done by not to get uh, one, maybe even two penalties from that first half? Massively, but 
uh, at the end of the day, we can't switch off for the first two minutes of the first half, first two minutes of the second half. You make your own look at times. Uh, they're two massive decisions. Uh, I feel that both penalties, Stonewall for me, and if one of them isn't, he's got to send the lad off because he's going through clean on goal. But never went our way today. Don't blame that. We switched off twice. They've scored two. We've lost 2 0. We're there with no points again. Well, as you said, we have lost uh, key players, like of Shaquille McDonald and Carl Carey have uh, both left in recent weeks. But as you say, normal part of non league, new players will always come in. We've seen the likes of Kyle Williams, Lewis Eisen, and Eli Barco come in. Do you believe that you have sufficiently replaced the time that we've lost? I mean, is, is it even possible? Um, I, I wouldn't say someone's better than someone and say that because the lads that I've brought in, I'm, I'm going to believe in them. The lads that have left, they're, they're big players, they, they're going on to bigger and better things, that's, that's up to them. But I'm not going to say the lads that have left are better than the lads I've brought in. I believe in what I've brought in and I, I hope it's going to work for us. So I'm going to stick with what I've got until I'm told there's no more time. Well, the ambition at the start of the season was, as always, promotion. It, at the moment, it doesn't look like that's going to be on the cars. Really, the biggest thing we've got left is the FA Vars. Mm -hmm. So, where, where do we go from here? What is the, the, the main goal now for the rest of the season? Yeah, the league's gone. It's, it's, we're, not, we're, not, we're, we're not winning here. Um, we're not good enough. Uh, this, I told you, this league's so competitive. There's a lot of teams up there doing really well at the moment. We're not. Uh, the Vars is is our be end and end all of the season now. We've got to do well. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're going to switch off from league performances and go, I'll oh, just let's leave it. I want to win every single game that I'm in charge of this club. I don't go out there to lose. It's not, it's not in my nature. It shouldn't be in anybody's nature. Managing, playing in any football team, we shouldn't go out there wanting to lose. We've got to start winning games. Something's got to change. And if that's down to me or them players, then I'm going to try and make it as right as possible. But the Vars, we, we've got to win next week, simple. And finally, a tournament 2018 is over. It has been a, a real roller coaster ride. How do you sum up 2018 and what do you want to see from United in 2019? Better performances, score more goals, be more clinical, have some hunger, have some fight. Um, we've got a lot of young lads in here, they're going to learn, they're going to they're get better. We've got some older heads in here, we've got to pick each other up and, and drive these young lads through. I've got to help all these lads. We need better performances than the back end of this year is shown for this club because that's not what that's not what we're about. We're better than that. We've got to be better than that, simple as. So starting next year, turning up at the Vars, new year, hopefully a new star for us and we can kick on and finish the season well. It's, I feel sorry for the fans. So it feels sorry for at the minute as well. They deserve something out of this club and hopefully we can give them a good cup run. So